Hello everybody, welcome back to Pro Evolution Soccer 2021. I don't know why I always do something with my hands, but there we go. Um, yes, yeah, straight into it today. Ross County Europa League. Not much else to, to discuss really. We're still just above mid-table in Syria. It's not been brilliant, but we actually haven't lost. Um, we had two cup games and went through on Agurate 9-1. So, yes, it was very easy. 4-0 win in the first leg, 5-1 in the second leg, uh, and the goal, we basically gifted them the goal with uh, some stupid errors. But we do come into the Europa League with this one. There's a few tired legs in there, so we're just going to bring in uh, Sorloff back in for Seri. Uh, Thiago Dantes can come back out for Moriba. He can come back in, switch those two over. Uh, Benkovic, I mean, Nino, let's play Karpov. We haven't seen too much of him yet. I'm wondering, if we move Karpov over and do Benkovic for Piscane, do we go... No, we stay the same. Venuti, Miange, McKenzie could come in. Do you know what? We haven't played Piscane. He's actually being sold. Uh, Sheffield United have paid his minimum fee release clause of something like 19 million. So, yeah, he's going to he's gonna be out of here, to be honest. Right, Brenner can go on the bench. We got... Uh, Benkovic can come off the bench. We got Nino on there. We'll put... Uh, ooh... Seri, I guess. Jordi and Bula can go on the bench. We haven't seen too much of him in a while. Uh, goalkeeper can be Neto. He's just better. He's just a better goalkeeper. Gonzalez is back from injury, so he might go on the bench. No, I think we'll leave it. I think we'll leave it with uh, Brenner as our option. Brenner is not really getting too many chances, to be honest. Maybe a bit of a wasteful signing, but yeah, Xerxes stepped up. We'll look at the goal um, stats and assists and things like that. Uh, a little bit later on. Let's get into the game. We're at home. It's Ross County travelling from Scotland to Italy. So, hello then. Here we are. That's very cockney, isn't it? Sargenia Arena. Cagliari versus Ross County. It should be a very interesting game. I quite, quite like that Ross County kit. I don't know if it's, uh, it is the real one because it's got the Scottish Premiership signs on it. So, yeah, I, I quite like that kit. It's quite nice. Here come the teams walking out. Should be a good game. Europa League. Let's get it underway. So home team kick us off. Sorloth gets it underway, and uh, I'm 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 expecting I'm expecting a win. I'm not going to lie. I'm expecting a a fairly comfortable win as well. Ross County are sort of the whipping boys, although they did they did beat Braga uh, earlier on in the group stages. Obviously, we've got one win against Braga and a draw against Zenit. Zenit currently top the group. Sorloth is there. He can turn. Get that one off to Geo. He can shoot. Great save. Xerxes on the rebound. It's one nil. Two minutes gone. 1-0 and Xerxes gets it and I've been posting in the comments about how Xerxes needs to step up to be our goal scorer and he's doing that today. 1-0, what a start. Pretty simple. I don't think Ross County even touched the ball. It came out to Hlozek, into Sorloff, laid it off to Geo. Great shot to get that away. Good save from the keeper. It might have been going in anyway, but Xerxes wasn't to know. He pounces and it's 1-0 Cagliari early on in this one. Sorloff around the corner. Flakes it off. Geo with a good shot. Good save from the keeper. Strong hand. It probably was just about to go in, but Xerxes just knocks it home. Geo picks the ball up in central midfield. Just feeds it into Xerxes again. Xerxes just trying to just shift his weight and get some space. And it could fall to him here. He has a shot. It's another good save from the keeper. It bubbled around. Bounced up nicely for Xerxes just to hit it. And uh, he turned here. Got it onto his right foot. Trying to just use his weight. It sort of bounces around. Gets a bit of luck. And Xerxes bangs it. Good save from the keeper. Geo over it. You can see Marco Van Ginkle there playing for Ross County. Not want to say he's dropped down divisions uh, a lot. But, you know, he was once on the books for Chelsea and PSV. So this is definitely below a standard that he was predicted to be at a, a younger level. As uh, Saar and Shaw are in a race here. Torres is actually going to beat Shaw there. He can pick out Saar who can whip in. A bit of an earlier cross, looking for Sorloth, who heads it down. Xerxes, oh, I should have probably let it let it be controlled on his chest. But, yeah, positive start from Cagliari. Kinnan on it, but he's been robbed in the middle, and Torres can pick up the loose ball. And Torres has a lot of space to run into here. Ross County defenders backing off him. Torres shoots, he's hit the underside of the bar, and it bounces out. Oh, what a run from Torres. Unbelievable strike. I'll we'll see it again here. Torres just striding through the Ross County defence. You can see they sort of parted away. Good running from Xerxes. And Sorloff, a little touch inside. The keeper's just starting to think, oh, yeah, he might be having a shot here. Torres still going. This little touch, he just does a touch away from that centre-back. Opens it up perfectly. The keeper's not too sure. Defender's closing in on him. And Torres just unleashes a rocket. And it just smashes the underside of the bar. So unlucky. Torres on it again in central midfield. He's already tried his luck once and hit the bar. And Torres has been given... The freedom of Cagliari to keep going. It's all the way across. 
And Klozek, well, I forgot to press super cancel, so that's a shot from when I thought it might find someone in the middle of the area. Xerxy into Sorloth. We are just carving through Ross County at the moment as uh, Saar is coming in now. Again, absolutely no pressure on him. Saar shoots. I went for that bottom corner near post. Good save again from the keeper. 20 minutes in, and this is this could be a cricket score. It, it probably should be by now already as uh, Geo is over this one. Let's see if we can do something a little bit better with this. In it flies. Keeper gets a touch on it. It will be a throw-in to Caglieri. Bit of a dangerous position for the throw as well. And the goalkeeper is weirdly keeping Ross County in this, even though he's already conceded one inside 20 minutes. Torres has got a Saar there. Great first touch from Saar. Saar can shoot, deflected into the goalkeeper's hands. But, yeah, just pure domination from Caglieri at the moment. Geo, great one too to release. Saar and uh, yeah you can see and feel the confidence of the Caglieri team here it's cleared away Piscani will be able to just bring that one down he looks up towards Gio good ball there can touch it out towards Saar he's got the pace to get around Saar looks to dink it in again just too much on the cross and it drifts out for a throw in if we can just get that final product we will we'll have a field day here Ross County trying to take the sting out of the game with a little bit of possession and then a long ball forward Vakalevsky does well to control it a nice early pass out to Hlozek uh, as well who's coming forward with this one Draper flies in and gives away a free kick half an hour gone and uh, it's, an, it's a yellow card for the Scotsman I, I assume he's Scottish but he's picked it up and yeah let's just watch that again he dives in on Hlozek and yeah nowhere near the ball nowhere near the ball a deserved yellow card and uh, Mariba is over this one again I'm just thinking if we can grab yeah Sorloff's a big chap let's see if we can just run him up to the front here. See if we can then flick this one on now. Nah, not a good delivery. Torres square to Saar. Saar picks it up and gets around one. Another bit of footwork from Saar. He's still going. Saar shoots. Oh! 2 0 Caglieri. What a goal from Saar. An individual effort as he just trundles off towards the advertising hoardings. And Saar celebrates with Xerxes. He's pretty much done that all on his own. What a goal. A lovely bit of trickery with his feet in there. Uh, headed down to him, Saar just held off one man. Little drag back there to create the space. Held off another. Rifled it in the top corner. 2-0. Shaw sure, has the ball for Ross County. Lays it back to Van Ginkle. McKinnon looks over the top. There's going to be too much on that. And Ross County have no ideas. They can't attack. We are defending really well. We're keeping the ball when we go forward. All in all, it's been a, a fantastic performance. And look at this. Mariba has space into the feet of Torres straight away. He can flick it out to Saar, who's having... Probably his best game for Cagliari, and he is enjoying life right now. Saar is loving it. Up it goes towards Sorloff. Tries to knock that one down, but Draper intercepts it. Again, Ross County just looking to clear their lines and hoof it away. Moriba. In it goes. Gio picks up a bit of space. He turns really well. He's caught late. Should be a free kick and is. And the, can we play you every week? This is ri ridiculously fun to play right now. The footwork's working. The skills are working. Shots on target have been great so far. Geo fancies a go from here. Can we get this one up and down over the wall? Geo does. Oh, good save from the goalkeeper. Corner ball. Geo, what have you got as a delivery here, son? Tries to swing this one in towards Vakalevsky at the near post. It's cleared away. Karpov, the, uh, the centre-back. Bit of a heavy touch and... He's nearly paid for it. Vakalevsky nearly bailed him out of trouble, but there could be a counter-attack on here. As Shaw has got some space. We've got men back, though, and Torres does really well with a bit of second-man press. Piscane goes long. Xerxes, I think, has stayed onside. Doesn't matter because he doesn't win the header. Gio picks it up. Looking for Saar again, who's just in complete, uh, like a free-flowing mode today. He is on fire. And, well, Ross County can't handle him. You can argue he's slightly unplayable for this level of uh, defence, but... Yeah, I'd love, love to get him involved in the game a bit more. And Hlozek as well on the other side. He's going to pick up the ball right now. Hlo that's, not a, that's not a good pass. That's not going to endear, your, in, endear, endear yourself is the word I'm looking for to the manager. Right, back to Van Ginkel. Oh, Shaw's got the wrong side. And it's a, well, Cogano's forced into a save. It probably should have been a bit more difficult than it turned out to be. But 2-0 at halftime. I will not complain. Zerkzy early on. And Saar as the half drew to a close. But uh, yeah, 2-0 up. Lovely stuff. And here we go then. Second half underway. Van Ginkle has the ball out towards Randall. We've been, we, we were pressuring them quite high, which I'd like to continue doing uh, in this half. Try and make them force a, a long ball. Similar to that, but I think... Oh, Piscani did win the header. Van Ginkle gets there first. Right. 
Back to Van Ginkle. Mariba dives in. Is that going to get through? It is going to get through to right. And Kragano's made a fantastic save. And, well, Ross County have obviously had a bit of a rocket up the arse by their manager at half-time because they've started this one flying. Van Ginkle thought I'd read that with Mariba. Vakalevsky couldn't bring it down. And Kragano saves it with his thigh. Good save from the goalkeeper. And Van Ginkle, as you would expect, is going to put this one uh, into the danger zone for the team from Scotland. Karpov heads it away. Xerxes gets a good touch to get round Harmon. And, well, Ross County could be in trouble here because Xerxes is coming forward and he's laid it off to, to Gio. And Gio, that's such a bad touch. I was looking up to see where Xerxes was going to run and, uh, and just held down sprint for a bit too long. Sure, over it. He's going to have some company now in terms of Vakalevsky. Easy save for Gregano. Not worried from there. Klozek into Sorloth. We just need to get our... Rhythm back again here. Sorloff can just hold it up and go back to Moriba. Gio. Oh, I was just trying to flick that one off. That's going to fall to Torres on the edge. Saar is there. First time cross. In towards the back post for Sorloff with a header. Oh, Hilton picked it out of the sky. Moriba out to Klozek. Back into Moriba who's got a little bit of space. Moriba tries to pick a pass. And he does pick out Xerxes really well. Onto his left foot. Xerxes bottom corner. What a goal. 3-0. And this boy really is stepping up. And making his opportunities count. Two goals in this one. 3-0 Cagliari. And a rocket of a left footed shot into the bottom corner. Lovely little build up play. Moriba to Klozek. Back into Moriba. Moriba just knocked it through to Xerxes' path. Got it onto. Well his weaker foot is left foot. But drills it bottom corner. 3-0. Mariba, great closing down to win that one. Looks infield towards Sorloff. Sorloff has runners and one of them is Gio. Can he get there? Oh, it's bouncing around and Gravosti is there to hook it away and uh, Ross County are just all over the place in this game at the moment. Cannot handle the runners forward and uh, are struggling to to deal with Cagliari. Is that's gonna, is Lozak going to keep that one in? Yes, he is. And he's actually going to do very well to their nutmeg draper and uh, keep it going. Mariba into Geo, Geo, oh, Xerxes on a hat trick for this one. I was trying to just poke it through to him there. As uh, Wright can get the ball into Van Ginkle, lays it back to Randall. He's going to go long. Vakaleski v Shore, and it's uh, oh, a bit of a 50 50 that one. I don't think anyone really won it. Geo picks out Saar. Saar, oh, I was looking for Xerxes, but just a bit too far in front of him. Plozek into Geo. Geo with a bit of a heavy first touch again. He might be getting a bit. Tired legs right now. Xerxes is very, very keen for that hat trick. Sure. Oh, hello. We've got we're outnumbered a little bit here. What's going on here at the back? Sure. He's going to have Piscane and Vakalevsky for trouble. In he goes. Van Ginkle. Great block from Mariba. And with that, we'll make our first substitution. So Brenner on for Sorloff. Sort of game we'd like to get Brenner involved in and get him a bit more minutes uh, under his belt because at 3 0 up, you'd like to think this game is done and dusted as they put on Gardine for right as that goes into Hilton. And. Mariba's there. Gio can... Oh, I was trying to spring some sort of attack. But Xerxes, I mean, unlucky. Unlucky. He's keen for the game. So we'll take the opportunity to uh, rest some legs. So Saar off. Delo on Saar with a, a lovely goal. A little, little individual effort as McKinnon is replaced by Leah for Ross County as well. Xerxes. And look at this. We just love flooding men forward on the counter-attack. Gio. Oh, it was meant to go back towards Xerxes. As uh, Van Kinkle's there. Long one up in the air towards Gardine. Torres, uh, well, not not too sure what that piece of skill was, but there you go. Gardine on it again. He's got a runner outside him. Karpov has held him up well enough, and then Van Ginkel was just outnumbered. Klozek. Klozek up towards Brenner. Brenner tries to turn and lay that one off to other substitute, Diego Delo. Delo pokes it through. Brenner's there, shoots. Good save from the keeper. That's more like it that we saw from Brenner at Boca. A little bit of a part of give and go. Just took a touch, laid it off to Diego Delo, then ran on. Diego Delo tried to poke it through. I mean, he had two options, and Brenner gets the shot off. Good save. And try and stand this one up with Gio. It's gone up towards Vakalevsky. Oh, trying to head that down and back across as Torres has sort of committed, but Ross County don't have too many men forward. Well, that's a good ball. We're going to go to him, and we've got Vakalevsky covering in the middle. Gardine has got there first. Oh, my word. I mean... Krugano committed to that one, didn't he? Bloody hell. Luckily, he got a tackle in there. Here is Van Ginkel from the attacking throw-ins. Krugano has just palmed it into the path of their striker. What a twat. What an idiot. Uh, Van Ginkel puts in an, an okay cross. I'd actually like to think we're going to clear it, but Krugano just palms it into the path of the striker. 
And uh, 3 1, no one's getting a clean sheet bonus today. So, third and final substitution then. Gio comes off. Cristante comes on to replace him. And uh, a round of applause for Gio. Captain on the day, replaced by Cristante. He wants a sign from Roma. Diego Delo picks the ball up on the right hand side. Plenty of space and looks to just poke that one through. I was trying to go for Cristante, who is playing slightly out of position as the uh, attacking midfielder now, replacing Gio. But. Uh, I don't mind that. As Brenner, oh, nearly, nearly intercepted that. I read what the computer uh, or Ross County were going to try and do there and just couldn't get the touch I needed on it as it goes up to Hilton, the goal scorer for Ross County. And uh, Draper keeps it alive into the final couple of minutes and Ross County seem to know the game is done and dusted. Happy to keep it around the back. 3-1 could potentially push us top of the uh, the group. We'll have to see what's happened in terms of the other fixture as Torres is uh, feeling the pain in his legs. Doesn't look like Zerks is going to get that hat trick. He's got a couple of minutes to maybe make it happen. Klozek, Torres looks up towards Zerks, who is going to win that ball and do very well to get it. Zerks, lovely touch to get round one. Oh, nearly got round the second as well. Maybe a shot. Maybe I should have shot because he's on a hat trick. But there we go. 3 1, 2 for Zerks, 1 for Saar. And uh, Hilton getting them a late consolation from a goalkeeper error. But uh, all round, good result. I think we've absolutely smashed them there. I think that is one of the best, probably, team performances we've put in. Uh, let's have a look. 12 shots to 5, 9 on target, 3 for them. Yeah, can we play you every week? So we still stay second in the group, but it is looking pretty favourable for us and Zenit to go through right now. Uh, 7 points each, 2 wins and a draw. No losses for either of us. Ross County have 3 points after they beat Braga in the last round. Uh, they also have 2 losses, but Braga haven't won a game. Slightly surprising that. Looking at the other group, Standard Liège and Hertha Berlin, top of the group, that includes Everton. Uh, Club Rouge and Vigel are there ahead of Wolves as well, so the English team's not doing too well. Nice and Ajax are topping uh, their groups, as you'd expect. Levante and Trabzonspor sit above Milan, but three teams on six in that one. Zurich and Valencia are ahead of Feyenoord and Lenz in probably what is the toughest group in the competition. Salzburg, Lokomotiva Moscow sit above West Ham with Salzburg three wins from three. Uh, Villarreal, Lille are sitting above Basel and Herovine with Villarreal not dropping any uh, points here. Oh, they've dropped, they got one draw so they haven't lost the game yet. And uh, Group I is Vito Gomez and Sevilla ahead of Istanbul and Motherwell. Ooh, looking pretty good. Munchen Gladbach and Schalke, the two German teams, which I don't think can happen in real life being in the same group, uh, top it ahead of Zagreb and Bruges. And Olympic Lyonnais and AZ are above Fenerbahce and Luzerne. Napoli are flying seven points from three games, well ahead of Rostov Sporting and Kilmarnock. And there we have our group again. So, very nice. We'll be back for the game against Torino. Hello, everybody. Welcome back again to the Sargenia Arena in Cagliari. And this time it's Cagliari v Torino uh, in what should be a very interesting game. Both teams, similar sort of mid-table positions. Cagliari want to get back up towards the top. And uh, it should be an interesting game. Andrea Balotti leads the line for Torino. And Seri comes in at the expense of Xerxes for this one. Xerxes tired after the international break. Uh, not the international break, the uh, the Europa League football. Um, we also have Torres partnering Cristante in the middle. We're back to the usual back three of Benkovic, Vakalevsky and Nino. Saar keeps his place on the right after a good performance. Klozek keeps his place on the left. And Shaq Fatidis is back in to central attacking midfield for the uh, for the home team. As Yeah, I'm hoping we can build on that. It was a very, very good performance against Ross County. We just need to, to keep it sort of ticking over. And make sure we can uh, make something happen. As here is Seri, who's in for uh, Zergzi. A bit of a bold call from Zlatko Zahovic, because Zergzi is the man on form, uh, or man in form. Seri is actually the man on form in terms of Pez form arrows. So we'll have to see how we get on. But Maite is here, and I am fully aware this will be a lot harder than uh, the sort of the game that Ross County gave us. That goes in towards Balotti, who is a tall striker himself, uh, can be a bit of a target man for Torino as Stefan keeps that one in he goes back to Benat Torintes into Mighty again Torres I've read that I read the direction he was going to go Verdi oh Klozek great defending there Klozek can look to get it up towards Seri and we oh got lucky there because Simone Zaza was going the wrong way Stefan in there again Cristante doesn't win the ball Verdi on the right hand side he's got a Klozek for company once again Klozek easily takes the ball off him Shaq Fatidis can Play the 1-2 to get Klozek away and his pace is going to get in there and keep that ball in play. And he's got plenty of room to stretch his legs here. Klozek on the edge of the area. Has a shot. Ooh, that's not far away. What a run and what an effort. Winning the ball back in his own penalty area. 
one two to quickly get away with involving Shaq Fatidis and Klozek just carried on going a rifled effort oh the keeper was worried Cristante looks to release Ismaili Saar and uh, Saar has got lots of time and place tries to pick out Sorloff who's in loads of space Sorloff on the volley what a goal from Sorloff the defender misjudged the header and Sorloff left footed volley bottom corner what a ball from Saar the deep cross we don't utilize them very often but yeah great ball through here Cristante into Saar had a bit of time and space took a touch out of his feet and then back post cross the defender goes for the acrobatic completely misses it and Sorloff fires it under the keeper and that is 1-0 Cagliari out of pretty much nothing Saar puts the great ball in Sorloff watches it onto the edge of his foot what a hit that is 1-0 Cagliari absolutely brilliant what a finish from the big man who needs Xerxy when you've got Sorloff, eh? I mean, I'd love to have them both, but Xerxy really wasn't up for this game, which is stupid because he scored two goals in the last one. Pez, sort it out. Konami, eFootball, sort out your form arrows. Hang on, we might be straight in here after my little rant about form arrows because Seri's done really well to hold the ball up and Hlozek does have runners in front of him. They've just stopped their movement for a little while. Nino, we're going to go back out this way to Saar if he can whip in another cross and he's actually gone for a similar sort of back post cross and it causes Forster in goal um, a little bit of trouble and Shaq Fatidis what's, uh, what can he do with this one we're going to go for this front post ball again Benkovic does flick it on Cristante's waiting for it it's going to come out have a pop star have a hit oh just tackle before he got there Torres can just try and pick this one up in the middle we're trying to go down the left but that's been a, a bit of a closed avenue they seem a little bit more defensive on that side Saar is having a well, a wonderful day with these crosses. Forster keeps that one up. Sorloff runs straight into the post, but gets up without any sort of a long-lasting injury. Maite into Lukic. Now, Klozek was just pulled out of position there as Verdi comes forward. That one goes into Belotti. Belotti, oh, great defending there as Cristante can pick up the loose ball. Klozek looks out towards Shaq Fatidis. On once more to Saar. That's not where I wanted that to go. And it could give Torino an opportunity here because Stefan has plenty of space. Ishmael Saar, he's not even on an up blue, I don't think, today. But he is playing so well. Cristante picks this one up. I'm just going to hold it up and let, let Saar go because he's got the pace. And we've shown already today he's got the crossing ability. In towards the back post. Seri, oh, Forster with a good punch. Cristante, oh, went for the dipping effort. Shaq Vatidis, again, we just, just feel like we're clicking today. It feels great. Forster, long ball forward. Vakaleski challenges with Belotti but loses out. Zaza is pretty isolated in... Cristante does very well. Saar again. They just cannot handle Ismaili Saar this time. Tries to put the ball in again towards Seri. Seri downward header. Defended well. Oh, Shaq Fatidis couldn't get there. And Torino are, well, panicking at the back. I mean, Lianku is probably their best defender. And we're just completely bypassing him. Going all the time out towards the other centre-back, Bremer. And uh, it's working really well in our favour. Seri wins it again. Sorloff into Saar once more. Saar just jinx around Lianku. So can he put a cross in? It will be another corner. We're playing really well. Two, well, one and a, one game in 34 minutes of the team feeling absolutely brilliant. Shaq Fatidis tries to put this one in towards Seri, who attacks it. Great header. Forster straight at his chest, but he held on. Free kick as uh, Sorloth was caught late. Shaq Fatidis will take this one relatively quickly. We're going to try and dink this one up towards Sorloth, who was running, and he flicks it on. Yeah, Seri just caught on his toes a little bit, but... To be fair, the big centre-back's done very well because he's won it back. Hlozek tries to dink that one in towards Sorloff, who misjudges it. Stefan, Stefan, Stefan heads it away. Saar is there again to get on the ball first. Looks to dink it across towards Sorloff. It's up in the air. Lianko gets ahead on it. And I tell you what, this team is feeling... This is what it, the, the potential of this team sort of feels like. Um, when, when you have a good performance with them, it feels really good to play, although that was... Pretty rubbish from Sorloff there. Simone Zaza goes backwards. Torino happy to have a little bit of possession because we have been absolutely dominating them. Cristante flicks it on out to Saar. He's picking up so much space on this right-hand side. Saar back post looking for Seri. Seri with a header. I think that's a corner. It is. 43 minutes gone. 1-0 up. And we are, we are looking dangerous. We are looking very dangerous in this game. Vakalevsky comes towards the near post. Flicks it on. It's not the best flick on, to be honest. Klozek's there. Goes back towards Shaq Fatidis. Ball comes back in. Well, Sorloff went tumbling. Referee gave nothing. He's given a corner for Lianko's header behind. Shaq Fatidis 
on the corner again. This time we'll look to drill it in and Forster's got a touch. Took it basically off the head of Benkovic and well it's just hoofed away. And Torino need the respite. 1-0 Cagliari at half time. A fantastic finish from Sorloff. Again, I'm expecting the stats to be in our favour. And they really are. No shots for Torino. What a half. Second half underway then. Simone Zaza gets the game going. And yeah, you've got to feel Torino are going to do something slightly different in this half. Because they offered zilch going forward. Absolutely nada. And uh, yeah, we were very easily dominating them as Flozek's oh, I've had I asked quite a lot of Flozek there Torres picks out Shaq Fertidis he's got Cristante pulling one side go back into Shaq Fertidis Flozek I mean, look at Seri calling for the ball just holding off his man turns him as well Seri shoots good save oh Saar just couldn't quite get on the rebound and Alberto Seri there showing his strength great hold up play from the striker turn got the shot off a decent save though keeps it at 1-0 uh, at the moment. Torres can't quite pick out. Shaq Fertidis. Oh, Cristante is very, very late with that tackle. Referee said play on and it could work in our favour here because Seri's picked this one up into Sorloff. Back to Seri. Seri, great little touches there and he wasn't caught by the defender. Referee says play on again. Cristante just lacking a few options. Torres. In it goes to Shaq Fertidis and Kulu is there to get it away and oh, Torino living a bit of a charmed life at 1-0 down at the moment it sort of feels like that Ross County game where we should be definitely more than 1-0 up playing well at the moment got to keep on going long ball up towards Seri wins the header into Sorloth who can flick that one on as well <sighs> Lukic had to get that touch because Shaq Vatidis would have been in into uh, into Klozek Klozek just trying to tease his way forward Torres nothing on there just looks to turn away from Lukic, picks out Sorloth, who's offside. Okay, so yellow card uh, for Cristante. We thought it would be. The tackle was pretty bad on Lukic. Very late. Could have been a red. Timoni Zaza's picked up the knockdown from Balotti, and his shot goes past the post. That is Torino's first shot of the game, and uh, it's not on target. But, yeah, it was a long ball forward, and I thought Nino was going to win it. Balotti actually nodded it down, and Zaza, left-footed touch, left-footed drive, just past the post. Seri wins a uh, knockdown into... Klozek, who can go all the way over towards the back post towards Sorloff. He can't win his header. We are seeing uh, Saar's game on the game, influence on the game, just drift off a little bit. Uh, I think he's starting to get a few tired legs. Lots of football for him very recently. The, uh, a bit of a big money signing, to be honest. Seri can turn but not get the pass off. Lukic wins it. I think Klozek's another one who's starting to, to struggle fitness-wise and Verdi's picking up quite a lot of space in behind him, Benkovic, Torres tries to get it into Cristante, but Belotti gets in the way and Lukic picks it up. Here is Verdi again. Yeah, Klozek not really putting in the defensive effort that we need. Zaza could be in. Another shot past the post. And we do make that change. It is going to be a Klozek off and Tavares on the off uh, on sorry on the left hand side. As uh, I don't know, Saar still had a bit of fitness left, so it's not the uh, complete end of the world for him. As Seri can flick, oh, nearly flicked it straight through to Tavares, whose first shot would have been a run on uh, an effort on goal, you'd imagine, or at least a run at goal. As uh, Benat Turinzo is under pressure, Benot Belotti figs it out to Stefan, and Stefan has a uh, time and space on that left hand side. Saar gets back at him, ball across, easy for Cragano, and I do quite. Fancy us making a bit of a break here. Shaq Fatidis up towards Seri. Seri can flick it onto Tavares. I don't think Seri's lost a header today. Tavares trying to just trick his way around Bremer, who well, gives away a free kick. Oh, I was just going to see if I can dink that to the back post. Yeah, Tavares is a little bit of trickery. did sort of work. Not too sure about the free kick. So, second substitution then. Saar comes off. What a cross to, uh, to assist the goal. And Diego Delo comes on to replace him. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm happy that we can make that change as... No, Benkovic is definitely not going to take this. It will be Delo. He's got the best delivery. And we're going to try and just stand that up there to see if we can get one of our big, tall centre forwards on it. It's not. It's actually Tavares who has a go with the header. Not what I was expecting at all. Forster claims it out of the air. And uh, Torino regained possession with 20 minutes to go. Seri can bring this one down. Has Tavares on the reverse pass. And he picks it out. Tavares looks to dink it in towards Shaq Fatidis. Him and Nkulu both missed the ball. Probably would have been better off going up towards Sorloth there, but... Shaq Fatidis thought the pass was for him and he went for it. As uh, they go long again, Benkovic and Simone Zaza challenging each other. Tavares this time does go up towards Sorloff. He can't win the header. Stefan gets it away towards Belotti. Round it goes to Zaza again. Easily read 
by uh, Vakalevsky. Shaq Fatidis. Oh, just a bit too much on that one for Alberto Seri, who's had a cracking game up front. Vakalevsky knocks that one back, and Benkovic goes all the way back to his keeper. And, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, not mess around with it too much. Seri doesn't win that one. Cristante's there. Sorloff can flick it through. Seri can go on one more to Tavares. And Tavares has got big, tall targets to aim at, and he can't pick any of them out. Shaq Fatidis can't get there either. Belotti looks to turn into Zaza, who holds off Torres pretty well and feeds it right to Verdi. Meite. And uh, that's a good foot in there from Benkovic, who's had a good game at the back as well. Diego Delo. Sorloff. Oh. I saw Shaq Fatidis in a little pocket of space. I was hoping to just turn and get that into him. Cristante with a good interception, but the game has gone very scrappy. And if I'm not going to lie, that's going to suit Torino because... I feel like we're going to give more of the ball away than them. And I saw that coming a long way off. Good save, Cragano. Dante can bring this one away. He's not the quickest and he's not got the freshest of legs. In towards Shaq Fatidis. He goes out to Seri. Flicked on nicely. Tavares. Tavares is in. And he's I've shot it straight at the goalkeeper. Oh, that is dreadful. Lovely build-up play, but absolutely dreadful finish. Shaq Fatidis into Seri. Back heel into Tavares. I've heard it straight down the keeper's throat. So third and final sub then is Mariba on for Shaq Fatidis um, in central midfield. We've actually dropped to a flat three in central midfield now, so no more uh, attacking midfielder. Diego Delay, what have you got here? Puts it in. It's Mariba. Oh, Mariba was challenging for it with his first touch. Cristante lays it back out to Diego Delo. Keeps that in play. Looking for Seri at the back post. Oh, goal kick. Header goes wide. So as we tick into the final minute, Fraser Forster has the ball for Torino. Two minutes of uh, added on time to go. Benat Trez into Lukic. Lukic has the ball. Cristante just showing great strength there to nick it off him. And oh, he's just taking a bit too much of a heavy touch. We've caught Lukic late. Referee might want to give a free kick. Oh, I've covered that really well with Vakaleski. Right, don't mess around with it. Get it out. Full time, 1-0. We were the better team. We didn't take our chances, but we're, we're playing well. We're playing very, very well. Hopefully, that propels us off the table somewhat. Ten shots to their three, seven on target to one. Yeah, nice. That felt good. We just need to take those chances a bit more. Tavares with the best chance to double the lead and missed it in the last few minutes. But... Hopefully that does, but yeah, moves us back up to fifth, which is good. Five points off top, three points off second and third. Yeah, feel um, the team's feeling good. The team is feeling good, but we're going to leave it there. Let, let me know in the description, no, in the comments below, uh, how what you think, how you think it's going, everything like that. I think we'll probably now skip a few of the Europa League games because we're looking pretty good. So we'll do Spau and Genoa off camera. Ross County will play off camera again. Lazio will play off camera We'll come back for, oh, we could do Fiorentina Braga or Braga Napoli. We'll probably do Braga Napoli, to be honest. I think that's what we'll come back with. Um, and then it looks like we're going to have a very interesting run in here with Juventus, Zenit and Roma all to come. So let me know if you're enjoying it in the comments below. Please let me know what you think about Xerxes, Sorloff and Seri. Are they good enough up front? Do we need to try and bring someone else in? What, what do we do? If in January we're getting off from a Champions League club and it looks like we're cooking on gas and ticking well, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.